Hello everybody, welcome back to 10 Minute Reviews. I'm Jason, bringing you today's video. The crazy one right over there, the fuzzy one that you might hear some squeaking from, that's Freya. Just found her squeak, one of her squeaky toys. We're bringing you today's video. As always guys, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. We say it every time, but we're just a small little family channel. Me, fuzzy mascot, really is the boss, and my wife, who's the other boss, we just love to talk about books. So we're going to keep doing this no matter what, but we would really appreciate any support you guys might give us. So for today, I want to talk about a new book and a new author. I don't know if it's a new book, but a new author and a book I'm an author I've talked about before. And uh, I don't know if this is book one of, of a series or what, but Mickey Carr, Carre, C-A-R-R-E, in the book Mask of the Gods. Mask of the Gods. So as always, I'm going to talk about four things. I'm going to talk about the world, the character, the plot, the writing style. How fuzzy I see and uh, starting off with the world. Now, this is an isekai type novel, so, um, so I'm going to kind of combine the, uh, the character in the world. So the main character's name is James, and he comes from our world for the most part, but he wakes up with almost no memory in a fantasy esque world. It's, it's your typical swords and sorcery uh, type of a fantasy world. Um, with magic and ghosts and priests and 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 kings and and knights and all your usual type of of you know fantasy middle ages adjacent fantasy type stuff. Only again, James doesn't have any memory. He, he's very very little memory. As as things progress, he remembers a few small things, uh, such as he's he's taken some fantasy classes. There are some fantasy. Uh, um, not fantasy, some fencing lessons and, and things along those lines. But uh, And he does remember pieces of his, his previous life. Now, his previous life, he was an engineer, and that's, that's something that's, that's really, really big and really, really helpful here because he does realize fairly quickly that he can probably make quite a bit of money if he can establish himself and bring some modern innovations to this this Middle Ages type of, of fantasy world. So, but of course you need money to begin with. So he, that, and that's one thing, he does kind of, of um, uh, deus ex almost into some, into enough funds to actually start. Um, and, but then that, that, then of course leads into the, the book itself. So the plot itself, so you've got James trying to figure things out. He needs to learn how to defend himself. He needs to learn how to use a sword. He needs to learn more about the world needs to develop allies, things along those lines. But of course, he manages to develop some enemies as well. Now, this book is kind of a slice of life. Now, it's called Mask of the Gods because of a small portion of it, a small portion of power that comes into play. But James figures out fairly quickly that that uh, he is in a almost a parallel universe. Um, he, he realizes, geog for reasons, he figures out geography is the same. He's basically in his home, just on like a parallel universe kind of thing and decides that he wants to be a king. Now, that's the only knock I have on the book. The book itself, wonderful, loved it, read it all the way through. I highly recommend this book. It's a ton of fun. The only knock I have on this book is James' motivations. Outside of that, it's a great book. It kind of comes across as a little bit of a slice of life. They even mention at one point, James even mentions at one point in the book how he realizes that he's, he keeps talking up all these plans, but he's not doing anything. So he needs to really start working on doing and what he wants to do, he wants to become a king. He wants to become a king with multiple queens. And that's his primary motivation. That's what he wants to do. He needs money so that he can go somewhere and build his castle and build up his armies and build up his land and have, you know, you know, however many dozen wives he wants and all, you know, all his queens. And, you know, that's his motivation. And that's the only knock because it kind of comes out of the blue when seriously, who thinks like that? I mean, who... Who finds himself in another world and within 30 minutes of being on this other world goes, I'm going to be a king. I'm going to die. screw the king that's already here and all these people and the fact that I have no money or clothes or weapons or anything else. I'm going to be a king with, with a dozen wives. Like that just, come on, guys. That, it, it literally made no sense to me whatsoever. But ignoring that because every book has something in it you have to ignore or every movie. Um, outside of that, it, again, he doesn't make a big deal out of it. So it gets mentioned a few times as his primary motivation then otherwise thrown off to the side in favor of the rest of the plot. The book is fantastic. It really is. It's really good. 
there's definitely issues with, with being in a fantasy world. Um, you know, of course, you got your commoners and your nobles and your usual bigotry between the two. Um, then, of course, you've got a little bit of the bigotry between locals and outsiders. Y'all ain't like from around here, kind of thing. Um, and, of course, those that are a little bit more open minded, those a little bit friendlier, more helpful, uh, some that are just wary, you know, very, very wary and, and keep an eye on them because you're not sure about them. It's a pretty, pretty good cross section of humanity, which is really cool. You know, that a lot of times the books are, you know, everybody's perfect or everybody is just a cardboard cutout of certain archetypes. And in this case, it's a pretty good cross section of humanity. It really, really is. You've got, you know, all types of personalities and all types of people in it, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then the gradual introduction to things within this world is also pretty cool, being slowly introduced to, say, magical animals. Pretty cool. Being slowly introduced to the concept of spirits. Also pretty cool. Um, and then the concept of priests, that those of us that, that are in lit RPG and fantasy and stuff like that would think of more as the clerics and the ability to cast spells and stuff like that pretty cool we get a small instruction to that and everything kind of ties itself together it almost feels like a book of, of little episodes because again it's kind of slice of life that all manage to tie themselves into each other in some way shape or form guys just overall it's a fantastic book it's a fun book the writing style it's just interesting it's it's not super snarky super funny and like i said sometimes you just like come on now that's not uh, uh, yeah who does that but for the most part pretty interesting Pretty interesting, pretty fun. Definitely worth a definitely worth a glance. If you're not not uh, if you don't have anything else to read and you're really looking for something to read, I recommend it. Give it a shot. Give it a try. It's it's entertaining. It was entertaining. It def definitely uh, what I look for in a book. Something that can entertain me for a little while. Thank you everybody for watching. So after you hit that like and subscribe button, guys, go check it out. Mask of the Gods by Mickey Carr, Carre, however it's pronounced. Catch you guys next time. Bye now.